Howdy and welcome to this small session. My name is Jens Seiger Christensen. I am the X programmer for Western Computer. What I'd like to show you today is a cool new feature that came out together with Dynamic 365 called the Mobile App. The Mobile App is basically a tool that allows for you to build your own workspace and processes directly from Dynamic 365 for operations and publish it out to your phone. And so you can have these kinds of processes instead of having the entire Dynamic 365 on your phone. One of the first things you need to do, obviously, is to get the app installed on your phone. And as of now, it's been published for Androids only, so you can find it here on the Google Play. Once you have it installed, some of the things you need to set up here. Now, let me just go in and I will just go back to my phone here. I'll look out. When you log in the first time, what you will be asked to do is you'll be asked to sign in by getting the URL for your Dynamics 365, what company or what uh, legal entity you want to connect to. And once you connect, you have to use your regular user to log in. So I'm going to use this one. It's probably cached on my phone. And here we go. So this is the workspaces that are currently made by the mobile app in our Dynamics 365. Now, you don't see as much as you would in Dynamics 365. However, that's not the point of this. The point of this is for you to be able to create your own process, your own workspace here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Dynamics 365, and we're going to create a new app. We're going to create a leads app where we will allow the possibility to create new leads directly from the phone. So one of the first things you need to do in order to make it available for your mobile app is that you need to have the access of the mobile app set up. You can see it's not available right now here, but what you need to do is just add this little URL here. It's and mode equal mobile. And as I've done that, I see the mobile app here. So now I have my ability to manage the mobile app. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a new app. I'm going to call it Leads. You can decide what kind of color you want of the icon. I'm going to choose the light blue. What if you want any icon or anything, I'll put in this one. And then you can add pages, action, and logic. So the pages are like when you show a list page or a page inside of your Dynamics 365. The action is the actions like creating new leads or creating new records or updating or deleting or whatever you need on that. And the logic allows for you to actually do some of your own coding. It's done through JavaScript and add that to the app as well. I'll try to keep it simple and just add a one page and, and one action for creating a new lead just to give you the feeling of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Page. I'm going to give the page a name. So I'm going to click Leads. And then I'm going to click Done. So now we got the first page. Now we need to define what's on the page. So the way that you decide what's on the page is you go ahead and click select fields. But what you need to do first is you need to go to the actual page or the actual site where you need to add those fields. So I'm going to sales and marketing in my example here and go to all leads. I have my list of leads here. I'm going to click select leads. And now you see these buttons here. So it's now in edit mode so I can now add all the fields that I want to. So I'm going to put these fields in here. And the date opened as well. Okay, so now I, that's it. I built my list page. The next thing I want to do, and now I want to make it possible for us to create a new lead. And I can do it from the first page here where you will see it on the app. You'll just see the menu item leads, and then you will have an action in the bottom. Or you can go in, click the leads, click edit, and add the action. Well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put the action out here. So I'm going to click action. I'm going to click add action, and I'm going to create a new action called new lead. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click done. And then I'm going to go, and then I'm ready here. So now when I click select fields, what you saw before, I was selecting the fields out in the list here. But what's different in the action is when you select the fields, it's actually start a recording, kind of when you do a task guide or a task recording. So you need to click select fields, and then you go through the process, so it records your process. So you just look at this kind of neat here. So I'm going to click New Lead, and then I'm going to start putting in New Prospects for us. 
And soon as I tap to the next field, you see here that this field has now been added. And I'm going to put in a name. The name is prospect Q, right? And I can select the owner, and I'll leave it at that. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to select the rating. I'm going to select D. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my notes in here. Please call S. All right. So now I got all my fields that I need to put in. I want to put in here. What's also important, you need to click the Save button for it to calculate, to actually record that as well. So now we have added the field selection, and you give it information. So now we're going to close this, and you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and click Back. I'm going to click Done. And now I have the possibility to actually publish the workspace or export the workspace. So you can export the workspace from one environment and then import it into another environment if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And now you see it's been created here. So jumping back to my phone, I will update my screen here. And you should see now we get all leads. And I will try to create a new lead on my phone. So click in the new lead here. And you can see you have your leads here. If you click it, I can get in and I see a list of all the leads that we have in our Dynamics 365. Notice below I have my actions and there's a plus sign. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to select new lead. And then I'm going to put in phone prospects. Ben Cool. And I'm going to put in some notes. Please reach out. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now you see syncing your change. And I'm going to click close. And you can see it's still syncing up there. So it'll probably take just a second here. As soon as it's done syncing, you will actually be able to see the new lead created in the system. So we can go ahead and we can take a look and see, okay, new lead sync completed. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into all the leads here. I'm going to refresh my screen here. I have a couple here. Phone prospect. So this is the one that we created. Please reach out. Phone prospect, Ben Cool, the owner's me, and everything is good. So now we actually just created an app where you can create a new lead directly from your phone, and it took less than 10 minutes. Thanks for listening, and please keep an eye out for any new editions of 